Well, this morning we're learning more about the violent 4th of July in Hayward. We first brought you the story yesterday on the Cromford Morning News, and now we've learned that there were a total of 14 victims, including two people that were killed in five separate incidents. Cromford's Will Tran live in Hayward with the latest on this, Will, so those numbers just keep going up. The numbers are staggering in the Hayward Police Department. They have their hands full, and they say they are still looking for more suspects. On top of the numbers that you just mentioned, Raina, two people are still in critical condition at a local hospital. Let's get right to it. Here's the timeline on what happened. The 4th of July was a very violent day in the city of Hayward, and it actually started at around 1245 in the afternoon. There was a shooting. Then they were in investigating that and of course it takes hours to investigate they took a law as far as the violence then at around 7:45 it happened again another violent incident while they were investigating that 3 hours later at 10:14 six people were shot on the 400 block of Ranker Place when neighbors came out of their home and to celebrate the 4th of July when all of a sudden shots rang out while they were there investigating that a little bit more than an hour after that another violent incident while they were there that was about 11:25 5 minutes later another violent incident. So lots going on in the city of Hayward. Let's talk about the third incident that I talked about, the one that happened at 1014 on Ranker Place. Six people were shot. We do know that they believe one of the suspects was the shooter, and that person has been taken into custody. They are still looking for more people in all of those incidents. And believe it or not, Reyna, even though it happened in the city of Hayward and it happened, some of them very close to one another, they do not believe that the incidents were related to each other. And as far as the Ranker Place one that I was telling you about, they don't believe gangs were involved, even though they say that area has been acknowledged for lots of gang activity. In that particular case, they don't believe gangs were involved. Back to you. All right, Will, thank you for that update there.